Have you ever felt like you were a failure, or perhaps that you were falling behind, and despite your best efforts, things just keep on getting worse, and it feels like you don't even have the right to be not okay since millions of other people are suffering more than you are, like literally there are thousands of people out there dying of hunger, and you have a roof over your head, and food on the table, like what right do you have to say that you are suffering? Hi, I am Ella, and it's fair to say that I live in privilege. I have a home, I have very supportive and caring friends and family, and despite the COVID pandemic, I am still employed and even have the luxury to work from home. And despite that, So, I just had an online consultation with a psychiatrist and it turns out that I suffer from depression and anxiety. Such fun. So, what happened? Let's go back to year 2020. Back then, I live in the metro and everything was going extremely well. Then, COVID-19 happened. And my family insisted that I go back to our family home, to the island I grew up in. And living on an island with my family is great, don't get me wrong, but it does have its setbacks. And for me, the top two are frequent power interruptions and frequent connectivity issues, which led to a major drop in my work performance. So let's go back to now. With all the blessings that I'm surrounded with, I used to constantly ask myself if I have the right to be not okay. Don't fall in the same trap I did. Honestly, don't. And with society pushing this overly positive outlook in life or belittling your troubles just because someone else is suffering more, with that much weight on the other side, just what rights do I have to cry for help? But one thing that 2020 taught me is that there really isn't a competition of suffering. Yes, some might be struggling more than you are, but that doesn't mean that your struggles are invalid. Because at the end of the day, no matter how big or small you think your suffering is, you're still in pain. You're still hurt. You still cry yourself to sleep. And you know what? That's okay. Yes, it is good to have a positive outlook in life, but it's also okay to feel down. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel pain. Do you know what is not okay? Staying in that negative place for a long period of time and watching yourself deteriorate helplessly without even giving yourself a chance to be better. If you can't do it on your own, go ask for help. Admit that you are yeah. not okay and go ask for help. There's no shame in that. Your output might have decreased in value. Your grades might have been lower. You might have failed a few tests here and there. You might have missed some deadlines. You might have lost your job and can't find a new one. But that doesn't mean your value as a person decreased too. You are as worthy now as the day that you were born. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Although I might have a bit of a grasp, but I am as clueless about life as you are, and most probably even more confused than most people. I don't know anything, but that's okay too. So cheers to us. May you have the courage and acceptance to admit that you are not okay and the kindness and self-love to help yourself get back to your feet again. And if you're doing well, may you spread compassion wherever you go. As for me, well, I am still not perfectly okay, but I am getting there. Baby steps. May you feel better as well.